Hi guys, it's Emmanuel here and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a stunning case study for your Behance portfolio. We're going to walk through a step-by-step -step process on one of my case studies and make sure you stick around to the end because I have more tips and tricks to help you set up your Behance portfolio as well as a free Illustrator template which will help you on your next portfolio project. So make sure you like, subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright guys, so now we are in Behance and this is my portfolio which you can check in the link in the description just to follow along. So we're actually going to be building this project for Herd, which was a PR and marketing agency based in the UK. So we're just going to go through the step-by-step -step process of coming up with each of the adboards and just to see how to structure a case study. But before that, if you're a young designer looking for a place to really set up your portfolio, I really recommend Behance. One, because it's free. Two, you can really sell yourself by just showcasing your work and showcasing all your social media handles. So me, I have all my handles, my work experience, a beautiful banner image and my profile picture. So whoever comes can already see the experience I have as a designer. All right, guys, let's head into building this case study. So now we are in Illustrator and this is where the template file is that we're going to be working with today. But we're also going to work with Photoshop because that is where we are actually going to build some of the mockups. So starting with this first one, the cover page, which is the most essential part of your case study, because you really want to make a strong first impression. So for a marketing agency, I decided that a white banner would be kind of good. So let's move to Photoshop to see how we came up with that. So here we are in Photoshop. And if I double click into the mockup, you can see this is just composed of different layers, right? Just forming the rectangle in the background and this image in the background as well. Then these are just text with some blend which has been done in illustrator so just using some simple elements just to form that initial cover page and that's how we came up with this which is what we now exported and took over to illustrator so that's how we came about this cover page really really important so after your cover page it's always good for you to show some initial sketches right so these are some initial sketches actually made for the head brand identity project and if you actually look into the portfolio case study on behance you see i put in an overview section so this also helps to give some more description about the project you're working on right just so it's not vague for whenever viewers come to your project you can actually do this within Illustrator, like typing the text on the artboard. But I think it's always better to do it straight in Behance because this text is responsive for different devices. So you can use whatever works for you. All right. So after the overview, like I said, you show your initial sketches. This is really, really important because it helps to show how you think whenever your client just comes across your work, it shows your thinking process. So always try to add sketches for your brand identity case studies, right? And after the sketches, your approach to the brief. So like here, I talked about creating bold elements to help show the strong nature of the brand. So after making your sketches, what decisions helps you to narrow down on your final concept? That's just the main purpose of this all right so heading back to illustrator we are still on our ad boards and remember that behance wants you to make ad boards with a maximum width of 1400 pixels and for height i recommend 800 pixels behance didn't actually specify so right now we are on our next ad board in illustrator and you can see just showcasing the main logo for the project which is head on a nice plain background. So that's just it. Um, you might notice that it's kind of animated here in the main project. 
but this is kind of outside our scope for today's video because i actually use after effects to work on this right but ideally after showcasing your initial sketches you just want to lay out the logo in a plain background right that suffices to introduce it to the audience next off i like to show my logo in a grid format just to kind of show how i constructed it i've taken some time to draw out some lines just to show how the logo was built all the corners the edges the angles that were put into consideration and here's how it works actually in the case study right so i just added some animations in after effects to make it come to life and take note these are two separate images so this is an image on its own and this is also another image so behance can also allow you to lay things side by side or you can just export it as one whole artboard hey guys before we continue if you want me to review your portfolio you can actually tag it in the comment section and i'll do a portfolio review in a future video also don't forget to like and subscribe let's head back to the tutorial so let's get into the project right now we're just introducing different parts of the brand so here we're looking at the colors and the hex codes for each of the colors right so just your basic introduction showing the colors showing um all the ranges you're using for this particular project right really really important and there's a flow like we said logo showing the construction then showing the colors all right so after your colors ideally you now want to start going into maybe some applications some ways that these colors can be used right and this was actually a layout i just designed if you see the outline so it kind of took a while to design this right because again it's a marketing agency so just trying to showcase how everything can look loud and bold so the choice of taglines was very intentional never not talking loud loud mouths we make sure you get heard so all these were taken into consideration so each of these are just elements that have been neatly designed right and again you can now see i eventually took it to after effects just to add some small animation so if you actually have animation skills it can really help in your brand presentations but if you don't then it's fine your presentations can still work very well as images so moving on still on the applications looking at social media templates so let's head over to illustrator to see how we built this which is actually on this artboard so this is actually a mock-up all this will actually be provided in the template um so you can see we can over actually come here to edit this and these are just some sample social media templates which would work for the brand tips for your pr specialists um three things you can do to boost engagement just basic um marketing lingo and again it's very important for the project you're working on you always want to contextualize how it's going to be used right so for a marketing agency can we see some marketing materials right so back to the case study on behance and after the social media templates we had a couple of websites um headers which we could sample so if i scroll down you can just see maybe something showing metrics uh, we make sure your customers hear you all these are just samples of how the brand's landing page could look like right so you always want to express yourself in your presentations so looking back in behance just flipping between two images right same layout and again all this is actually editable so moving down again this is just the screen on a mock-up and we actually designed this mock-up in photoshop so let's actually go there so if i switch over to photoshop you can see the mock-up for the macbook so if i change my mind i can end up changing the background to another color i like or i can leave it as is so really flexible 
can come into the smart object and change it to whatever image you want right so switching back to illustrator and just some social media um, story templates this was actually designed in illustrator so all this still connecting to the brand applications which the brand could use right so let's look at some more applications if we scroll down on behance you can see we have some other mockups business cards um these are things that are kind of easy to do quickly yeah so we have business cards you can always get any mockup right just to showcase your business cards double click on it and make any changes you like so just kind of like a step-by-step -step process of forming of building mockups that will help to sell your presentation right so we've looked at social media templates we've looked at business cards and this is another layout for the business card which we actually designed in illustrator so all this can be edited so there's kind of a green texture here which i just added i hope you can see this if i just pull this aside we can actually come over to edit the text right because all these have been pre-designed in illustrator right so let's move on from the business cards and see what else we have so this is another common thing you see in a lot of brand presentations because of how digital the world is now most brands have apps we actually built this in photoshop so you can see the mock-up for the phone we can zoom in here and which is the image which is here as well this is actually a vector right and you can easily draw this using your rectangle tool and just round out the shapes to just draw that so after looking at the app icon the brand we also worked on some stickers so all these stickers we actually designed them in illustrator which we can see here so just some fun ways to express some stickers for the brand so again when you're working on your brand presentations feel free to be expressive feel free to bring in some creative things that can help to sell the brand more so this could be like stickers on a bag or on a t-shirt or on a tote bag which we'll see later in the presentation so moving on um oh we can already see a tote bag being used here and some stickers on a laptop and those were actually worked on in photoshop so you can see a tote bag is just um your standard mock-up which you can always click into and go ahead and make updates right so likewise the laptop these are stickers which can all be moved around right so just helps to sell the brand story as well and again to close out the project i always like to close it out on a strong way so cover page strong opening and your final page strong closing never not talking loud so just using that tagline to form a final closing banner which could serve for many uses for the marketing brand and again these are mockups which you can actually edit within photoshop so just playing around with shapes selecting an image and adding a stroke to it just to make it more fun and um, that's how we eventually came up with this final banner you can see how it works well in the main presentation looking very clean and closing out the project in a strong way all right so after exporting all your images from illustrator here's how the full case study is going to look like just in order of how we arranged it um, like i said if you have some after effects skills you could play around with after effects but if not just the basic layout is actually fine and we really came up with a really strong project for behance all right guys so those are some tips tricks and techniques to help you set up your behance portfolio and build amazing case studies don't forget to download the free illustrator template in the description and if you want me to review your portfolio make sure you put it in the comments and i'll do a portfolio review in a future video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to learn more about design about building your portfolio 
or becoming a brand designer, just click the video on screen. Bye-bye.